Listen, be rest assured. There are some of the things that your eyes somewhere, somehow, they get to be blinded and you don't see them up until God open up your eyes. I remember at some point when I was in the university, when I was studying, I've been saying this testimony over and over. Up until I, I prayed fervently and aggressively, that is when in instantly, when I went to my books, I began to understand things that I had been failing to understand for days to show that the Lord opened up my mind to understand. Listen, uh, same applied with people. Do you remember the case of Elisha and his servant? The servant could not see that they were surrounded by armies. Only Elisha could see up until Elisha prayed, Lord, open this man's eyes. And then the Lord did so. And you could see that we are indeed, those are with us are, are more than those against us. And I want to pray with somebody today that it is possible to find that you have met your spouse, but they are still blinded. Hence, it is important to pray always in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm decreeing and declaring that let your ordained spouse's eyes May you not fall under those that you have met your spouse, but unfortunately, they are still blinded from recognizing you or from you recognizing them. Genesis chapter 21 from verse 17, her guy's eyes were opened and she could see a well. The Lord opened the eyes. May the Lord open the eyes of your ordained spouse. Both of you, your eyes, if one of you have been blinded, may your eyes be opened and then you identify one another. In Jesus' mighty name, take this word. I bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And of course, that's all I had for in today's video. I'm Ishmael. And if you're watching me for the first time and you feel blessed by this way, I'm Ishmael. Uh, by this way, hey, go ahead and give it a thanks, okay? By clicking that thanks button as well as my details on the description of the video below. And bye-bye.